Hey guys, we thought it would be a good time to revisit or reboot our Blender tutorial series. Uh, they recently released a new version of Blender, Blender 2.8. Uh, we want to look at the video editing portion of it because that's what we had done in the past. So uh, to not take too much time, let's get right into that. Okay, so this is the new Blender, Blender 2.8. This is beta. So just like the old version, you just click anywhere to get out of that. Um, I have had trouble finding uh, where to get into the new video editing or the video editing in the new version. Um, but I did some research and found out that if you go in here to file new and go to video editing, it'll take you right into it. You just click that and it'll switch over to video editing. Okay, so the layout is a little different than than the old one. Um, in this uh, this tutorial, I'm just going to show you where to find everything for now, and then we'll get in in later videos to other things. But so it's file, uh, new video editing. That'll get you where you need to be. Okay, so here we have our viewport. It's just like the old one, um, just in a slightly different place. So you can uh, scroll in and out with the mouse wheel to get your um, frame here, what you're going to be looking at. And over here is your file browser, and then this is your workspace right here. Um, what I like to do right away is pull this up because you're going to need this down here a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I haven't dug too deep into this yet. I'm just showing you what I know so far. So um, let's import a video clip real quick, which is a little... It's easy to do from the ad. Just go add movie, and then you can go... It'll open a file browser. Um, but you can also do it from over here if you just hit uh, this uh, plus sign right here. Open that up and you can go to your wherever you have your video file stored, which for this will just be on our desktop. Um, and then that will open it up over here in your uh, workspace or your file browser, whatever you want to call it. You can hit N or uh, T to get out of that over here with that plus sign. And then you have your... Uh, videos you can look at so uh, to import a video you would just click double click on it or you could probably just drag it in I would say let's do uh, just a drag in we'll just drag that in right there and it loads in you have your audio clip and your video clip uh, again you can scroll in and out to zoom uh, you can push down the mouse wheel and drag it back and forth or you can uh, grab the uh, scroll bar here and move back and forth. It's easier just to use the scroll wheel in my opinion. Um, I did notice right away that in the new version you used to be able to click at the end here and use the shortcut key on the keyboard E to set your end frame. That no longer works or maybe there's somewhere I need to turn that on but the easiest way to do that is just grab your end right here left click and just drag to the right until your um, time frame is where you need it to be, or close to it. Okay, so that will get you there. Um, same as the old version, if you, um, or different than the old version, uh, the clicking. Uh, left click now selects things, which I'm sure can be changed in, <clears throat> changed in the settings, um, but left click selects, and left click used to move your time, uh, your bar along here for scrubbing uh, it is now the right right mouse button okay so as far as everything else uh, setting uh, waveforms is still the same you just go down here and click your waveform and it would build your waveform in your audio file and then proxies is in the same location uh, but we'll get into that in another video but for now this is showing you how to import you can either uh, mess with your workspace over here, click on the plus, T to get out, drag in. Uh, let's try a double click to get one in once. Yeah, double clicking doesn't work, so you have to drag in. But you can also, if you left click to select things, shift to select multiple things, and then delete to get rid of them. You can also add things this way if you go movie. Then it'll just bring you into this file browser, and then you can just add movie strip up here it does the same thing essentially so I hope this helps get you started you can download blender 2.8 on the blender I think blender.org website 
Um, it's looking like it's a pretty good uh, piece of software so far. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it was helpful. And uh, I hope you'll come back for another tutorial when we'll get into. I think the next one we'll work on uh, cutting um, and moving things around and all those things. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.